Southeastern Ethnobotany Channel. I'm sitting here in the Cherokee Worldview Garden in the middle of a beautiful patch of what Cherokee know as Sochan. You and I might call this plant green-headed coneflower. So it's a member of that group of coneflowers, which of course are a type of aster or a complex flower, uh, several different flowers on a flower head. Um, but it's a beautiful Cherokee plant. Normally, in its, uh, in its summer condition, it's much taller than I am. It can be six to, six to ten feet with the blooming stalks. Uh, but right now, in its winter condition, it's this very short, low-growing uh, rosette uh, that you see that I'm sitting among. And these stalks, of course, are where the early flowering stalks were uh, in the summer, but they've been cut back now. Um, so this is a really important plant to Cherokee people. It was, was and is one of the chief edibles um, for the tribe. And typically what's harvested uh, is the small young leaves. And of course this time of year they're going to be pretty small in size. I'm going to, I'm going to pick one right here so you can see the size. This is not typical of what's picked. Typically the spring leaves are a little larger. And these are picked in massive uh, baskets or, um, or bags and taken to a person's house and boiled several times with the water tossed off in between boils. And this plant is served up as a pot herb, a pot herb, one of those plants used uh, uh, as a, an important spring edible uh, that's cooked before it's eaten. The idea behind the cooking is that there's potential toxicity of this plant, though I'm unaware of any scientific tests that demonstrate that. Uh, it's not to say that it isn't, it's just to say that the work probably hasn't been done. It's a particularly important food for Cherokee people because starting in February and in March, this is one of the foods that they can rely on for some early spring greens. And I suspect due to the green color that it's providing some nutrients for them as they come off of winter foods that were particularly important in historic times. But the use of this plant has persisted today even with Cherokee people and you can find folks harvesting this in February and March on the boundary uh, where this plant is naturally grows. Um, also in Oklahoma this plant grows and people uh, in the Oklahoma tribes also eat this plant with regularity.